I remember meeting Kevin uh, Peter Hall for the first time when he came to the studio for his castings, for his body cast, for his head cast, uh, to, to prepare for the process of uh, creating uh, the Predator. And um, here is this, this, this wonderfully soft-hearted, intelligent, poetic giant of a man. Hi, Mom. What, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's, that's my mom. What that's are you your doing? mom? What are, you, what are you doing here in the middle of Mexico? It's amazing. <laughs> Get home. Go home. Where's that? Kevin Peter Hall was our predator. Arnold, I'm looking for you, babe. And he was in Predator, too. Don't, don't, don't mind the master in the background. He was just a really sweetheart of a guy, you know, big and tall <laughs> and, you know, and soft and sweet inside. I need another finger. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin Peter Hall was a great kid. He got a lot of work playing monsters because he was seven feet six inches tall. And when you look at Kevin Peter Hall uh, in that wardrobe makeup and with that size, and you see him against Arnold, you believe, ooh, ooh Arnie's in trouble. <laughs> He made it work. Kevin Peter Hall really made the thing work. That's your lollipop gift. <laughs> okay. You can't breathe for five hours. <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a deep breath. <gasps> oh, quit playing. Okay, that's that kind of language it's used, Travis. Kevin was an extremely professional actor when it came to uh, the suit and uh, and his longevity in it. He complained very little. He probably stayed in the suit. I, I, it's, it's hard for me to recollect exactly the time, but I don't remember ever having to lose shots because he couldn't be in the suit any longer. I am Predator, master of the universe. What is you? He would stay in for hours. Uh, fortunately, uh, it was designed in such a way that the head could come on and off very quickly. So he would be in the suit, but we would in fact take the head off between shots and uh, allow as much, you know, air and breathing as possible. He was uh, amazingly professional. Every part you take on proposes certain kinds of challenges, and being in the suit makes other kind of challenges because you wonder how much of your performance is actually going to come through. Most people think that when you prepare for a role for this, it's mostly just physical. It's mostly just jogging and push-ups and movement, and all of that's very important. Endurance is very important to be inside a suit. It's very hot, and it's uh, really rough work. But there was also a lot of thought into what kind of movement, what kind of uh, planet he came from. You work on uh, the inner things that are going in, on in the character, just like as you would in any character, in the suit or out of the suit. He was a ballet dancer extremely, and a martial arts expert. He was probably one of the kindest human beings I've ever met. A gentle giant, you know, he was like a very sweet, kind-hearted human being and, and uh, had many good conversations with him, would meet him on auditions and see him on the streets. Hey man, how you doing? I remember Predator, that was my favorite role and just a really great guy, you know. And I really, I really am sorry that he passed. I have just in general the fondest memories of Kevin. Um, I can't remember working with an actor uh, under duress and more difficult circumstances than uh, Kevin had to deal with in The Predator and the jungles of Palenque and wearing this uh, in, in incredibly tough uh, uh, suit and create a performance in it. And never remembering a complaint, always a smile and just, uh, you know, just a, a really wonderfully, wonderfully uh, positive experience and uh, something that, you know, more people should have had a chance to uh, to have. You know, Stan creates the outside and then I'm like the spark, you know, like the life that's inside. Without that, you know, you just have a suit. <laughs>